You are missing something cool if you don't know about Pi-hole. Hello, my name is Amjad Ali and I'm an enterprise IT enthusiast and business intelligence expert. I created SyncBricks to make information technology simple for everyone. Subscribe to my channel to get the latest tips, tricks and recommendations related to enterprise IT, general IT, home lab, gadgets and more. If you find my content helpful, please give me a thumbs up and share the video with others. Let us begin the video. I'm going to show you how you can start using Pi-hole as a DNS-based ad blocker, which will help you to have safe internet browsing on your entire network. By installing on this Raspberry Pi or on a virtual machine, any PC or even a Docker, all it takes a little bit of tweaking and you will have very secure internet experience. Before we start, let me tell you what is DNS and how it works. A DNS server is like a phone book of internet, which translates domain name to the IP address of each device. When you visit a website, a query is made to DNS server to find the IP address of that server. When you are accessing any app or website, it has many URLs in the form of ads. You might be surfing a trustworthy website or an app. So guess what? You might be downloading malware or spyware. Pi-hole stands between the internet server and your network. When you are sending any DNS request to the internet, it passes through the Pi-hole. Pi-hole has a blacklist. If the DNS is in the blacklist, it will send you the unspecified address, which means that you will not get any ads when you are accessing any website or app. This is how your network remains safe when you are browsing internet. Pi-hole is really cool and the good thing is it is free. Though Pi-hole has helped me in the corporate network, but it has also increased the security and has cut out almost all the ads to all the devices at my home, including Android and iOS devices, smart TV, Chromecast, desktop, laptops, and even all other devices. Let us dive into the installation. You need to first of all, download Raspbian from the Raspberry Pi website and write this on this disk. So here is Raspberry Pi operating system. It says download for Windows. So I'll just download for Windows. This will install Imager. So it will ask me to choose the OS. I'll be using a Raspbian and then I'll be choosing the SD card. Okay, once the SD card is chosen, I will simply press Control, Shift and X. What this will do, this will open these options for me. So I can choose the name, I can set up the Wi-Fi key and Wi-Fi SSID and other details also. I'll scroll down and I'll adjust everything. So I can use this either for, even for this particular installation or for all the installations. Okay, now this is completed. I will write it to the disk. Okay, it has completed writing on SD card. So I'll be removing the SD card now. Just put the SD card back into uh, Raspberry Pi and plug the HDMI, put the power cable here and let us see now. Okay, here it has already started booting. Press next to start. So Wi-Fi network is already connected here uh, because we did the setup at the beginning. Add get update. Okay, now the update has completed. You can see all the commands in the link that I have provided in the description below. You will be only running one command, which will install all the dependencies and will install Pi-hole and will make the system ready. You can run the same command on various other Linux distributions. Now we'll be copying this command and simply paste it here. Here you don't need to do anything, it will do the installation of all the dependencies and all the other required applications by itself and it will take us to the final configuration of Pi-hole. This installer will transform your device into a network-wide blocker. So I'll be choosing wireless LAN because I need to put this on anywhere at my home simply by connecting it to the power supply. And usually I use Cloudflare and Google, so I'll be choosing Google for this purpose. So by default, it is using Steven's blacklist, which will have all the ads blocked. So I'll be choosing this as a default blacklist. Okay, I'll be using this on another network. So its IP address is 100 and dot four. This will be the subnet. Gateway address is 100.1. 
you can use the same process for various other distributions of Linux. So let us wait for the installation to complete. I will be changing this password pyhole a b and now I'll be entering the new password and here I confirm the new password. Now look into the web interface. I'll be simply clicking on admin panel. If I take you to my website, you can see that it is displaying these two ads right now. I'll be changing my DNS server. As you can see, it is taking from Pyhole. Now, once I go here, try to access the website again, all the ads on this website are now blocked. And if we go to Pyhole, you can see it has started blocking ads on my network. So anyone on the network can access this information, but in order to make any changes or to see the detailed configuration, they need to log in. Here I can log in with my password. If I click on settings, I can go to DNS and I can change the DNS on your own network if you have any DNS server. So you can use those DNS server. In case you want to use Pyhole as a DHCP server and you can disable your router DHCP and you can enable DHCP server here, it works fine. If you have any local DNS available, so you can add those DNS spores. Now, if you want to block a website, so this particular website will be blocked now. In case you want to block specific websites to specific users, so you can do that as well by adding the new group. Finally, we need to check the version of Pyhole and we need to update the Pyhole. So as you can see that version is old, so I will type in pyhole dash up. It will start checking for the updates and it will update. So I previously up updated the core and now it says that update is available for the web interface. So I'll run the update command again and I'll see that the web interface has been updated. So pyhole version as you can see, so both is up to date. Now I'll run the command again to check if everything is up to date. Pyhole dash up and here is. This was very simple installation of Pyhole. Pyhole can be installed on any Linux distribution. So we have installed Pyhole on Raspberry Pi and you have seen how easy it is to do the installation and to start blocking the ads on your network. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Remember to leave any questions or feedback in the comment section below. For more insights, watch the related video. Before you go, click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and avoid missing any latest videos.